everyone, this is Mary from SVG Cuts, and today I have all kinds of really simple Mother's Day cards, which could be used for Mother's Day, obviously, or for a girly birthday, or really for any occasion. A lot of these can totally be made with any theme that you have in mind. So I wanted to keep them pretty simple, so they're nice and quick. When you need a card, you can just whip it right up. And first of all, we've got this nice 3D flower on this one here. And this is a, a completely brand new design of a 3D flower. It's really simple. You just layer the pieces from bottom to top, glue it together, so simple. And we've got a really cute little simple little cherry card. Obviously, you could do anything with this. It could be any occasion or any kind of other paper that you have in mind. Switch out the cherry for something different or whatever. So we've also got another nice simple card here. And as you can see inside each card, there's also a piece of white paper, which is optional. It just kind of helps make the card a little sturdier and it provides a nice surface for writing or stamping something on the inside. So we've also got this really pretty little lace edged card, which of course you could change out the mom to be something different, a different stamped caption or some different word art that you have in mind. We've also got a nice little other dimensional word art card. And these letters really pop out because they've got all kinds of um, pop dots behind them to pop every layer out. And it's just nice and quick and simple. And again, the nice interior piece, which is included on each card. So we've also got a step card here, which is nice and it's kind of a little bit of a wow factor because, you know, if you go shopping for a card in the store, chances are you're not going to see a card like this. So if you make it for someone, they're going to be like, wow, that's really cool. So this is also very simple to put together, which I'm going to show you here in just a moment. And we've also got this final card here, which obviously shows the I Love Mom through the holes in the front. And it also comes with the same card without the holes, so you could decorate it however you want with whatever kind of stickers, buttons, die cuts, really anything to make it your own. So I hope this is a nice, useful kit for you. So this paper, as soon as I saw it, I was dying to use it. It's by um, October Afternoon, and it's called the Farm Girl Collection. And as you can see, it's really pretty, kind of vintage. It's got some really cute little farm girls. I really love this canning one. And it works really nicely for Mother's Day if your mom is, you know, if she appreciates vintagey stuff and kind of like home home cooking, home like canning and all that kind of stuff. So of course whatever kind of paper you have is going to look awesome. And I've got my pieces cut out to show you how this step card goes together and I've got a couple other little tips and tricks for the rest of these cards. So let's get started. So for this 3D flower, all I did for each layer was I just gently creased, well I didn't really crease it, I just kind of pinched gently each little petal and obviously it just goes from the smallest piece down to the largest piece on the bottom. And you can just embellish it in the middle here. I did some nice embossing with the Snow Flowers folder by Sizzix. And this card base is nice and handy for any other application if you do it without the flower and do something totally different. So for these little cherries, as you can see, this red here is actually lighter than this darker red, which I think just makes it kind of pop a little bit more. This green here is actually lighter than this green here. That's optional, you can just do the same green and the same red, but I thought it added a nice little bit of dimension. And again, this nice simple card base you could use for anything else. So next we've got another super simple little card, but sometimes the simplest cards are really the cutest. And I found these little tiny clothespins at Archivers and I was excited to have a chance to use it right there. And I just stamped something here from a, a package of Hero Arts stamps that I also got at Archivers. So next we've got our nice little lacy card and behind this layer here you can see it's got some dimension which makes it look even prettier and I used some some zots which are like pop dots they're just dimensional like thick little glue dots and it just makes it look nice they're also behind this mom here and then I also used my Epiphany Crafts Shape Studio tool with the bottle cap here to make this cute little design and I've got some really cute crinkle ribbon, which I got on Etsy from Scrap and Chris on Etsy, which I think is so pretty, especially if you've got some nice vintage paper like I've got here. So again, these are nice and dimensional. I used pop dots behind a lot of these layers here, and I actually trimmed them with my scissors, and actually I, I just ripped them apart, you know, just by hand. 
to make sure that they would fit back there and they look super cute. So this card is so simple, it's really just got these embellishments and the word art and the pretty paper and it's so pretty. Who wouldn't love to get such a pretty card? So again, this one, nice and fun here with the see-through stuff and I really went heavy on these items on the front and since there's circles here I kind of echoed that design with more circular embellishments here which I think you know kind of ties it all together and the cherries are circular so sometimes if you notice a design element that you already have in your card it's kind of fun to use it again in a different way like I did with these circles so I also took a needle and some twine and I put some some twine or floss or whatever in each of these buttons which I think finishes it off and makes it look extra nice. So finally our step card here as you can see I just I just glued some little embellishments here that came with my paper and I just glued my words on the front here and as far as the card base goes it's really quite simple we've got the card base front just one piece card base middle which is also just one piece which is folded and then the card base back which is also just one piece so to put this together all I'm going to do is put glue on the front of the word happy on the card base back and I'm just going to glue it right to the word happy on the card base middle and then I'm just going to put glue on the back of the word mothers on the card base front and I'm just going to glue that right to the card base middle and that's it so simple no tabs they're they're all just used right on the card here so there's my card base I can go ahead and decorate it like I did with this one so there you go all kinds of really fun quick simple cards for Mother's Day and beyond so I hope they come in handy for you, and if you make any of them, we'd love to see pictures on our Facebook wall or in our forum or on your blog or Pinterest or what have you. So thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time, and happy crafting. Learn more by visiting www.svgcuts.com. Don't forget to like us on Facebook and watch all of our crafty videos on YouTube. It's a world of crafty content with you in the middle.